Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is officially out of the Republican primary race. He ended his bid for the party's nomination two days before the New Hampshire vote, which takes place tomorrow. DeSantis was polling behind former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley in the state. But Donald Trump still holds a hefty lead and will be one step closer to securing the Republican nomination. For more on this, we have reached Stephen Maynard Caliendo. He's a professor of political science at North Central College, and he joins us now. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Hillary, it's great to be with you. Thank you. So wondering what we should make of this. Do you think that now that DeSantis has decided to exit the race, has this basically cleared the path for Trump? Uh, it's hard to say that. I mean, the path was pretty clear. Uh, even when there were lots of folks in the race, he was, you know, he was still polling over 50 percent uh, for much of the fall. We know that in Iowa, as unique as that process is, he ended up with a little more than 50 percent of the vote um, in, in a field with four or five candidates still in it. And so I don't know that this clears so much, uh, but it really does uh, raise some questions for folks who have been uh, supporting Ron DeSantis about what they're going to do now. And on that front, a lot of people had thought that after he finished second place in the Iowa caucuses, that maybe he would have a little bit more momentum to keep going with this campaign for a little bit longer. So why do you think he's decided to exit now? Well, it's hard to get in his head. I would tell you, Hillary, there's a couple things. He, first, first of all, we know he ran out of money. Um, he really was putting his eggs in the Iowa basket. And, and, and it doesn't mean that he had to win Iowa, but certainly to come closer to Donald Trump than he did. Uh, even though he came in second, he didn't win any of Iowa's 99 counties. Uh, and that's an issue for sure to donors. It's a signal to donors that he may not be viable. And so what really needed to happen was for him to have a better showing than expected and for donors to say, maybe if we just give a little bit more, uh, we can push him through. Uh, and that did not happen. He has also announced that he is endorsing former President Trump. Wondering why you think that might be. Do you think it's possible that Trump has promised him something in a potential future Trump cabinet? Do you think that that might have something to do with this? If this were a typical conversation about typical politicians in the U.S., I'd say absolutely. There was probably a conversation that happened. I, I don't think that's the case with Donald Trump. I don't think even if he promised him something that, that, that Ron DeSantis would be foolish enough to think that he would uh, follow through on that promise. I think Ron DeSantis is thinking about 2028 um, and thinking about what, you know, what his donor base, what his um, uh, base of voters would think. Um, he, can, he can go home now saying he gave it a shot. He only lost one primary um, and he's going to regroup um, you know, in, the, in, the new, in, the new, in a new context, especially as soon, if um, Joe Biden were to win the presidency. But I don't, I'd, I'd be really surprised uh, if he were promised anything or if he believed, even if he were promised anything, that he'd have a seat in the new administration. So if that's where DeSantis's head is at, where do you think Nikki Haley's head is at? Do you think that there is, there is any chance for her here now that it is really just down to Nikki Haley and Donald Trump? Well, Hillary, what, what I've been thinking about through all of this, you know, given the early polling in the, through la, even as early as last spring and summer, is that so many of these Republican candidates who put their name in were kind of hoping they could just last until we found out more about what was going to happen with these 91 criminal indictments against the former president. Um, wh what's the question? Is he, is he going to be found guilty of any of these charges? Is he going to be imprisoned? Uh, can he run for president from prison? Uh, what is the Republican Party going to do at the convention if he is found guilty? And so I think some of them uh, were planning to stick around just long enough to see if anything fell. Nikki Haley is the last one standing. Uh, whether she can on an even playing field without any uh, convictions, uh, start to elect enough delegates to beat him at the convention, uh, I, I don't think that's the case. Um, but we don't know what's going to happen with all these criminal indictments um, over the next few months. And so I think Nikki Haley, if she stays viable, uh, she looks like the clear alternative if something would happen to the former president. Okay, and just finally here, let's look ahead to tomorrow, shall we, with the New Hampshire primary. What do you think the storyline's gonna be here? What do you think we should be watching for? Well, I want to see, I mean, the, the, it's, you know, as you know, uh, the voting in Iowa and the caucus process is so different than what we're going to see in New Hampshire, which is uh, very simply you, you, you drop in and cast a ballot and leave. So it'll be much higher voter turnout, higher percentage of voter turnout. Um, and then, you know, with only technically two people in the race, but more candidates on the ballot because the ballots were printed before some of them dropped out, including Ron DeSantis. Um, how are those voters going to choose? The other good news is we'll have, we should have some good exit polling. Uh, coming out of New Hampshire, where we can ask folks, um, you know, if you were planning to vote for Ron DeSantis, who did you end up voting for? And I think that will tell us a lot about what we can look forward to in Nevada uh, coming up and then uh, South Carolina after that. 
Okay. Stephen, great to speak with you. We do appreciate this. Thank you. Stephen Maynard Thanks, Caliendo is a professor of political science at North Central College.